Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be drawing Edred from Unicorn Warriors Eternal. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we already start sketching in the circle. Now what you want to do after that, you want to draw two lines cutting through the circle. And after we finish with that, now you'll just drop in two circle shapes for the eyes. And then we could add in two check marks on top for the eyebrows. And next we could just add in some thickness to the eyebrows right here. Now you could also go ahead and shade that in. Okay cool, so we finish with um, the eyebrows, but we go down and start working on the detail for the eyes. And notice how the iris of the eyes facing upwards and to the right a bit. But now we could go ahead and shade that in. Okay moving down we could start working on the nose. So what we'll do, we'll draw a straight line coming down right here for the bridge of the nose. Then underneath that, we could draw a C curve for the nose. And then right below that, we could draw in the slight curve for the mouth. And now we're gonna draw in an even bigger curve. And I know, I know, more curves. For right here, you're gonna come down for the curve of the face. And notice how it's like a U shape. Alright guys, we finished with that. Now we can move up top and draw in Edred's big old pointed ears. Okay guys, so we finished with the face, now we could um, just lower the opacity of this layer and we could create a new layer above and now we could start working on the hair. So what we want to do first, we want to go by the forehead area, we're going to start bringing out the bangs right here and we're going to move a bit fast through the hair process. But now we could put in the sideburns and next we could kind of like flow up and to the right with the um hair so it kind of be blowing off to the right hand side and you could kind of like see these s motions as we go through right so now after we finish with that we could just draw a little hair strand peeking out at the bottom right here by the left ear right underneath there and afterwards we could just draw like little hair strands right in here following that same flow Okay guys, so we finished with the easy part and I know it wasn't really that easy but next up we are gonna work on like something that will be a bit challenging but don't worry follow along and you'll be fine. So we are gonna start working on the body. So right here uh, basically gonna do this on a separate layer. So right underneath the chin, we gonna come down, we gonna draw in a circle right here. And then we go and draw like a slight curving line and you can notice it kind of like curving off to the left while you know he facing off to the right. Alright cool we finished with that now we could go to the back of his head and bring out a slight curving line for the arm. And now we could put in a circle for the palm of the hand and we just basically putting in these simple guidelines. So now we can move back in front by the circle the torso area. And we could add in another circle or oval. And now we could just draw a straight line coming from the point of the circle like right in the middle there. Just bring it down straight. And then at the end of that, we could add in another circle for the hands again. And then in the back of that, we will put in a curving line for the leg. Alright, so next up we could join this curve right underneath the um, circle for the torso. And right at the side here to the right, we could draw in an oval shape. And right by the oval, we go and draw in a line coming down right from there for the other leg. And then right below there, we could draw in our other oval for the feet. Okay, so we finished with the action pose. But before we move on, let me just grab the selector tool right here. And we just go and resize and, um, you know, just reposition the head a bit. And since we moved the head, you know, now we had to go in here and just, um, you know, grab the selector tool one more time. And we could grab the, the arm in the back of the head right here. And we could just move that over a bit, probably rotate it a bit as well. Alright, awesome guys. We finished with the guidelines for our action pose here. Okay, so now we could just lower the opacity of this layer. And next we could go ahead and create a new layer above so we could add in the details to the body. Okay, so first things first, we're going to move right underneath by the chin. We're going to draw in this little line here close to the shoulder area. And now we could start putting in the color. And we could shade it in as well. 
Okay, so right below that, now we can start putting in these three lines curving across the front of the torso. So just like that. Then we could just add in these two oval shapes right at the end of the curve right there. Okay, cool. We finished with that. Now we could move over to the right, right here by the um, shoulder area. And we could start putting in these folds. So just curving around the shape right there. And now following the line coming down, we're going to start working on the arm. So the sleeve of the shirt coming down right here. So we're going to come down, have like a little bit of wrinkles right here. Then we're going to bring it all the way down. We're going to stop right here. Now we could draw this curve in shape for the cuff. And now right by the oval right there for the um, palm of the hand, we could start, you know, sketching in the fist. So we're sketching in the fist right here. And I know for this part, we're moving a bit fast, but, you know, try your best to follow along, guys. And then afterwards, we could just grab the selector tool and just kind of like shrink it down, reposition it, and just set it in place right there. Okay, so we finished with this arm. Now we can move up top behind the head and we can start working on the other arm. Okay, so for this arm, we just follow in the guide underneath. So we just curve in around right here. And then we could draw this curve right here by the cuff area. And then we could go ahead and shade that in. Then for the actual hand itself right in front here, it's going to be a lot simpler because we not seeing a lot of the um, fingers. So it kind of like fold it in into our fist. And then after we finish, we could just grab the selector tool real quick. Uh, we could just like um, just rotate it a little bit and set it back in position right there. Just rearrange it. Alright guys, so now we're going to move on to drawing the sword and I know this part will be a bit challenging so feel free to slow down the video. But we're going to go in here right by the thumb, we're going to come out and we're going to do like these two curving lines right here. And you can kind of see, kind of give it like a mustache shape. Then we could go in and kind of like shade in the handle in front. And then obviously in the back of here, we will see the, um, the rest of the handle. So just go in here, kind of like drawing this little shape in the back here. All right, cool, shade that in as well. Okay, cool, so now we can move on to doing the blade of the sword. So we're moving back in front of the handle right here. And all we want to do now is just draw a straight line coming out from here. And then on the outside of that, we're going to draw the straight line. And notice how it kind of like taper in slightly like not going like completely straight to coming down at like an angle and then at that angle we go and draw like this triangle shape for the point and then we'll continue that same line going back up the other direction all right guys we finished with the sword next we can move down and continue working on the clothing okay guys right by this line we just go and thicken it up a bit for the belt now we could go in there and just shade it in Alright, so now on to the back, we could just draw these folds coming in the back here. So we just go and carry it over. And then we could move to the front and just draw these curves again. And then we could just draw this last part and then shade it in. Alright, so we finished with the right side of the robe. Now we could hop over to the left and start finishing off this side. So slightly above the guideline, we just go and be curving around the leg. Then we just go and carry this line. At the bottom here, we go and carry this curve right back to the robe on the right. Then we could shade in the detail on the robe. And right underneath the robe, we could drop in the leg. And right behind that, we could drop in the feet. And then shade that in. Okay, so now on to the right hand side, we just go and grab our selector tool and we just go and move up the right leg, well the guideline for the right leg a bit. And now we could go in and start sketching in the final details to the leg on the right. So just like that. Then we add in the shoes right there. And then shade the rest in. Okay, so now before we move on to the inking, we just go and go in and just fine tune some stuff. So we go and go in right here by the um, robe area by the chest and we just go and add in these two buttons. Now we just fixing up some stuff, adding in some detail. 
and now we could also go in and add in the eyelashes to the eyes and then we could add in the final detail to the sword which is like this um you know this leaf pattern on the sword all right guys so we finished with the sketch now we're going to kick it into time lapse to do all the inking and we'll be back Alright guys, so we back after the time lapse and as you can see, Edred ready for battle. Okay, so next we can move on to adding in all the colors. Okay, so while we blocking in the colors, um, just let me know what you guys think about Edred. And I know he made his introduction into like episode 2, close to the ending of it. And I'm not really trying to spoil anything, but... It seems like he might be my bias going forward in the series because it looked like he could really do some damage. Uh, let me just say like when stuff started to get rough like he was bursting into action. And I still want to find out a little bit more about his sword because um, spoiler alert. Because it seemed like um, certain things he said to his sword it would kind of do. I remember in like that episode he was like um give me flight and he basically burst into the air like flying through the sky so i thought that was really cool and you can notice like you have a flower pattern in the drawing here but i would say you don't need to add that because i don't know if it's on both sides of the sword or not but yeah guys um that is edred i think he's a pretty cool character um let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you have seen the series Okay guys, so we finished with the colors, now we can move on to adding in the highlights. So right here on a separate layer, we're going to add in the highlight to the eyes. Okay, so next we're going to add in some more highlights, but this time to the dark areas of the clothing. So we're going to be using this type of, this lightest brown color. So we're going to start um, applying this in the different areas. Okay, lastly, we just go on speed through adding in all the shadows to Edra because it do take a long time to do. So just sit back and relax while we speed through adding in all the shadows. Alright guys, so we finished with the shadows, but wait, we forget one more thing. Hmm, I wonder what it is. And bam, there you have it guys, the final illustration. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Alright, see ya.